Yeah, so you're working in the village? No, I, I work from home, so... Oh, nice. 27-year-old Paul Bonet is catching a ride to work due to the sea to sky transit strike. He has two options, walk or hitchhike. I currently live in the in Whistler in BC and working in the village as a server. It's been over 100 days since Whistler lost its bus service. Drivers for Pacific Western went on strike in January. The other solution that I have or taxi or hitchhiking. Pacific Western Transportation is a contractor for BC Transit. It operates bus services in Squamish, Whistler and Pemberton. Both companies are owned by Unifor. The community wants to see the buses back on the road. Transit workers who, uh, as of right now, as we sit here in week 15 of this dispute, are earning $3 an hour more for drivers and $5 an hour more for um, much-in-demand skilled trades people. The strike started after 82 workers realized they make 3 to $4 less than regular BC Transit drivers. And we're stuck. We're stuck. Now, there are no future negotiations scheduled between Unifor and their partner Pacific Northwestern. Both parties have since walked away from the negotiating table. To how BC Transit, you know, sort of tries to create this competition playing field between private contractors messing around with public transit, it, it's a recipe for disaster. As the strike turns six months old, residents in the BC Sea to Sky region are left looking from the outside in. Just hope the solutions will be found. Residents will wait to see what happens. Samantha Holloway in Whistler for BCIT Magazine.